What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual here, and today we're going to be talking about securing your Wi-Fi or even the local area network on towards your modem. So basically what this means is if we bring over this illustration and we just zoom in if we can, yes, please, and take that out. So, okay, I guess it doesn't want to zoom in. So there is four people here. So there's the husband, daughter, son, I, and the mom. And there's all these guests. So basically, little Timmy wants to be a good host and be like, hey, here's the Wi-Fi password. And all of these people disconnected towards your internet. And it just made your internet really slow. And you're a bit of a security um guru or you know you're paranoid of what people will do on your network so this is where mac address filtering comes into play so what is mac address basically a mac address is a unique number that is identified towards each device such as your phone your tablets your computers and i'm going to be showing you how to get your mac address especially on a computer and uh we're going to import the mac address so before we get onto the video here, if you guys can do me one big solid is to subscribe to the channel, hit the post notifications every time that I live stream or upload a video, you'll be notified. Now, if you see me live stream, don't be afraid to come through and ask me some nerdy questions of something that you don't understand. I will try my best to answer them. I can't guarantee anything. Anyways, um, yeah. To share, smash the like button and on all of your social media and whatnot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with the video. So we're in our CenturyLink modem and here are two places. So we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi. So to add a MAC address, what you need to do is find your MAC address, which can be um, on the computer. Then it'll say like Wi-Fi or wireless connection here. And it'll go to properties. Oops, not properties, but it'll be um, status and details. And right here, it will say the physical MAC address. And that's what you want. So it is a couple of digits, a couple of letters, or a digit and letters in a section of two, but a total of um, uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so 12. So it's gonna be looking something similarly like this or it will show up in a digit, digit, colon, then letter, letter, colon, or digit, letter, colon, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully you get that idea. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now to find your MAC address on your phone, um, just go to your wireless settings or go to your settings period and just look for the MAC address and it'll say wireless MAC address or Wi-Fi MAC address, especially if you're running Wi-Fi you know, then that's what you need. And all you need to do is hit enable and enter in the Mac address and hit apply. Now I'm just letting you know if you mistype it, um, you might be locked out of your modem, but you can hit the reset button in the back and it'll wipe everything out. So if you have to wipe everything out, be a, be sure to have your PPPOE or PPP credentials so you can configure your modem again. Um, then you'll have internet access again. So basically to avoid all that, just make sure what it says on your device, write down that Mac address specifically and put that in. So that's, this is for Wi-Fi devices. And basically, you know, you only allow people on your network of what devices are allowed through the MAC address. So what about people who are on a LAN, basically who are connected with a ethernet cable that aren't over Wi-Fi? This is where this comes into play, where you go to advanced setup and access scheduler. Even though that this is, um, this is for, this relates to all devices. So if you, for example, um, let's just say your son uh, it goes to school or and whatnot, and you only want him to be able to go on the internet from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on the weekends and on the weekdays. You set that after towards like 2.30 when school is over, then that's when they'll be able to have access towards the internet. So that comes into play if you want to strict limitations. If you just want a strict limitations period, then just add all the MAC addresses that are on that LAN cable or ethernet cable and just do what you will here. 
So you're gonna have to get a little bit creative. So that is the Mac address filtering, and I hope that you learned something quite dearly, 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 dearly from this. Even if you want to block certain websites or block uh, service blocking, you can do that. You can block in, um, you know, those naughty sites or sites that you don't want your children to go to. So there's also that. Um, and I guess I'll make another video on that, but in the later on, a little bit more in detail uh, for parental control and whatnot. So I hope that this video is helpful. I hope to see you in the next video. Please share, like, subscribe, and uh, you all take care. Peace. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, running till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like